Please ensure that your router is connected to your computer using the Ethernet cable before continuing. Open your web browser. In the address bar, type in 192.168.20.1 and then press enter. Type in admin for the username and admin for the password and then click OK. Click on wireless on the left and basic on the top. The radio should be set to enable an enabled SSID number should be set to 1. SSID 1 is the network name. The default is Netcom 800N series, but you can change this if you please. Press apply if any changes are made. Select security on the top. The SSID selection will be on your default code. Broadcast SSID should be on Enable. By default, the encryption will be set to WPA pre-shared key with the WPA type as WPA2AES. The pre-shared key name will be on passphrase and you can change the pre-shared key to be anything you'd like. It can be any printable character as long as it's between 8 and 63 characters long. Make a note of the pre-shared key as you'll be needing this later to connect to your wireless network. Then press apply. Alternatively, you can use WEP encryption. The authentication type will be set to open system. The key length can be on 64 bit. The key type can be either 10 hexadecimal characters or 5 ASCII characters. The default key should be selected to key 1. And in the encryption key 1 section, you can type in your security key. For example, A1, B2, C3, D4, E5. Make a note of the encryption key as you'll be needing this to connect up to your wireless network later then click Apply. Once the screen has reloaded, you can then close the window and connect to your wireless network.